Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your midday market minute. We have the equity markets bouncing back, trade war off. Well, ultimately, you're seeing a softer rhetoric from China, and this was somewhat expected in the sense that they can't match the $200 billion in tariffs implemented on Chinese goods by the U.S., as China only imported $130 billion worth of goods in 2007 in total. So right now we're, we're still kind of waiting to see what, what China's, going to, uh, China's response is going to be. Uh, but for now, it seems a little softer and we're seeing the equity markets bounce back. The NASDAQ is within 10 points of its all-time high. The S&P is right within that closing range from Tuesday, around 27.92. 27.94 was the high. Look for this thing to test in this range. If we can't get out above 27.97 today and start running out above that previous high, we're gonna see some profit taking ahead of the bank earnings. Now, that's gonna be a pivotal close to, to uh, finish out the week as those bank earnings uh, are gonna be right in the crosshairs to finish out the week. Uh, crude oil is the other big mover right now. Ultimately, we're seeing this test into major three-star support. We were neutral yesterday, and good being so, uh, we're being patient. It's trading down into 69.35. That's our major three-star level. We said buy the first test. That right now has hit. It's already popped about 30 cents. We like this short term, but we also like an intermediate term. But if you're going to trade an intermediate term, you're going to trade it over and play in the position over another week or so, you might want to protect it with puts. That's how we're doing it here at our trade desk. Watch for this level to hold. A close below it is not good, though, so to keep the sellers and the bears and the driver's seat. Gold is the last thing we're going to touch on, and ultimately it's holding. It's held that 1238 previous low with a low of 1241 today. CPI data was in line with expectations on the core side, um, but ultimately yesterday's PPI read was really strong, and this brings back the expectations of inflation a little bit. You're seeing the dollar soften up after that. So gold is benefiting back up to 1247. We want to see it close above 1251, 1254 to neutralize this immediate term weakness. Give us a call. We're here to talk about anything on the board. 312-278-0500. You can email us info at bluelinefutures.com. You can uh, call our trade desk at, again, 312-278-0500. Uh, remember to sign up for a free trial research uh, and remember futures trading involves substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors thank you